There are three easy ways to sync your clip and audio or two clips or three or four or five clips in Premiere Pro. Here's how you do it. So number one is the easiest way possible. And that is just literally selecting your clips and hitting synchronize. So doing that, you literally just select them, right click, and then there's a button called synchronize. Uh, usually I synchronize by audio track channel. That's kind of what you're gonna wanna do. Unless you somehow use time code, then that's fine as well. It'll do its thing, it'll check it out, and then 90% of the time it will effectively boom and your audio is synced. For, for me here, audio is done and synced. So that's the first way. The second way is to do a multicam sequence. So this is usually beneficial if you have more than one clip uh, as well as multiple audio sources, say a ceremony for a wedding. Uh, but basically what that looks like is you just put all of your clips within a bin uh, I'll just call this multi. You'll put your audio and video clips inside one folder. There should usually be multiple. Right click on the folder and then you'll create a multicam sequence. You'll name it, I'll just name it test. And then again, I do audio track unless you're using time code again. That's another way you can do that. I usually make sure this says stereo because sometimes if it's automatic, it'll only come out mono. And then you can pick whatever else settings that work for you and then I'll hit okay. And then usually from here, it makes a sequence within the folder that is all good to go. Once you're inside that folder with the new test sequence you have, you can go ahead and go to right click, open in timeline, and then you'll see that it is indeed synced. Uh, from here, you'll notice luckily it did pick that my dedicated audio track is the main audio track and it muted the other one. That's exactly what I wanted. So now I can go ahead and right click again and do new sequence from clip and I will have my sequence. And now it's all condensed into one, which is really nice instead of seeing multiple things. And just for fun, you can also go to your tools here and then add your multi-cam one here. And once you enable multi-cam, uh, it'll show multiple cameras here. I have a whole video on that. I'll put in the video description uh, if you wanna know more about multi-cam. So the last way, if all else fails and syncing just isn't working, go ahead and manually do it. Now there's an easy way to manually do it than others. And so what I will do is find a very specific point in the audio that looks like it is you know, different than others or a start point of the audio is great as well. Uh, if you record a lot of stuff and you clap or make a noise beforehand, it'll have a really high peak spike on your audio. That's a really, really, really good thing to do every time. So you have, you know, that ability to sync it nicely. Uh, however, if you zoom in down here, you'll notice that this right here equals this right here. And so it's a very obvious spot that your audio is the same. So what I'll do is just drag my audio over until I'm happy where it's at. And then I will zoom way in to really dial in the exact spot. Uh, and so generally if it's off by like that much, you're really not gonna notice cause that's like the, that's such a small amount. Uh, so then that is synced. Now, obviously doing the you know automatic way is the easiest, but sometimes it doesn't work and manual is the way to go. So that's how you sync videos and audio or multiple clips in Premiere Pro. I mean, honestly, that kind of works for most programs because most of them have that, but I'll see you on the next video.